Well, people start lining up for this event at 7 a.m. And before they even open the doors to start it, they had to warn some people they might not get to them. Car after car, drivers patiently waiting in a line that wrapped around the building. I'm just glad that you know, I'm doing something. It's almost hard to believe how many gave up hours on a Saturday. I've learned my lesson. I'll do every anything I can to prevent that from happening again. Constance Jones learned about Calic converter theft the hard way. When I went out and started the car and it sounded like a tank, I thought, oh my God, what happened? Every repair quote was around $2,000. She lucked out and found one mechanic with an aftermarket part and got it for just under 800. It's still money she wasn't prepared to spend. I'm retired, you know. This was not in my plan in the least, but I had to have it done. Okay, three, three, four. And that's where this crew comes in. Students at the Snow Isle Tech Skill Center worked with Everett Police to engrave VIN numbers, spray paint, and mark the parts as part of the anti-theft program. By doing this, we're hoping that when we get to the scrapyard, the, the scrapyard will turn them away because of the scene that there's uh, obviously a VIN like carved into it. The legislature is also looking at changing state law to make the stolen parts harder to sell and setting up a task force to look at the problem. Jones says something has to change. This is no fancy car, an old Prius, but, but uh, somebody made some money off of it, unfortunately. There's so much demand, they had to turn away hundreds of cars. It's the third event they've done. They're planning to do more and looking for partners to help with these projects. In Everett, Amy Marino, King 5 News.